Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and today we will be talking about how to use ComSol as a plotter. In general, we do not use ComSol as a plotting software. However, sometimes you have a data and you want to quickly visualize it or you have a data you want to show it to your colleague, friends or boss very quickly, then ComSol will be a useful tool and today we will be talking about the same. So we have opened a console window. Let me again open it and take a 2D interface. And I am not taking any physics, any study. I am just going to the 2D interface. So you will have an option here that is definition you all know. If you right click on it, I have already talked about function. So you go to the function interpolation. I have already talked about in the numerical section. So I have taken the interpolation. Then what I do is I choose the option file from the drop down option. You locate it. This is data source from the data source. You choose the file option. Then you will get an option of browse and I click here. I have already taken two data file. So my first data file is a yeah, 2D data file. I have created a data file. This is 2D data file. I'm just opening it. So once your file is here, then you have to click on plot. So if you click on here, you will get the plot. So thereby you can actually plot it and you can actually show it to your friends, colleagues. You can also put arguments and functions. Say this is an arguments mean I have already talked about it. This is the independent variable. Say this is x and say this is fx. You want to just show it. Then if you plot. Yeah, it is showing fx and this is x actually this is the units so we should not use this we should use say meter and the function also has a unit of say meter per second something like this so you can actually put those things as unit you can also change it i mean after the plot you can export the plot and you can modify it in some other software. But today's topic is to show how to plot. That's why I'm not going into the other details. Now let us show you how to plot a 3D data. So I have also I also have a 3D data. Yeah, here is the same. And I click on plot. So you see you have a 3D plot. So very quickly, if you have the data, you can plot it and you can have a visual understanding how your data is varying. So the purpose of this plotting is only time, time saving, nothing else, because uh, the quality of the plot might not be good. You can export it. So there is an option of image snapshot. If you click here, you will get the option of storing it you can browse it say I'm storing it in the download say name one two three or something we can give if I click on ok it will be saved I can go and yeah this is saved yeah you can actually see this is the plot you can also plot it as a, this is a surface kind of plot. You can also click on create a plot. Then this function will be generated here. It is basically plotting this int one function. So I copy it. Instead of this function, I can also have a contour plot or a surface plot. So I disable it. What I do is I go to surface and in the expression I paste it. What I pay, what am I pasting? I am pasting this particular thing because I have taken it from the other plot, the function plot. 
and after I choose the surface I pasted this one so you can get the contour plot because sometimes these three dimensional plots are not easy to visualize so you need a contour plot so this is how you can actually play around with your data files if you have an experimental data file and uh, you want to quickly visualize it, it then you can just take the data export it I mean you can put the data in COMSOL and plot it so today I am stopping here I request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates we are also carrying out uh, series on vector algebra I will also come up with other engineering mathematics topic and uh, hence I need your support thank you very much